Hello, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com, and today we're uh, reviewing the Bosch Professional GLM 100C, which is a professional grade laser measuring device. It, uh, it's usable up to 100 meters, which would be 328 feet. Uh, it does angle, uh, direct and indirect measurement, and also has uh, Bluetooth uh, functionality, so the thing will talk uh, with your, uh, your Android or iPhone device or iPad. It also has a USB cable that uh, you can connect it to your PC and download measurements that, uh, that you've taken throughout the day onto your, uh, onto your uh, PC and, and, uh, and use those there. But first of all, we're going to talk about a few of the uh, button features on the uh, device so you can see what it's capable of. The two red buttons are the buttons you're going to use the most. The bottom one turns it on, press and hold shuts it off. It will auto time out and shut off on its own, so it's not a big deal that you get it shut off. But the uh, arrow button above it here, first pressed, activates the laser so you can uh, um, sight the laser in on, on your target. Second press gives you the length. This button here is the basic modes, and uh, we are in length right now. This would be area if we wanted to know the uh, square footage of uh, a floor or a wall. You know, we press it uh, uh, one direction like this and uh, take our measurement, and then we would uh, rotate it and do the other direction, whether it's a wall or a floor. And uh, press it again and it tells us that uh, that we have nine, uh, 99.1 square feet of, uh, of area. And press it again and that takes us into um, volume mode which is basically the same thing with one more measurement. You know you do height, width and, and uh, length and it will uh, calculate the uh, uh, volume. The next one, as you'll see, the looks kind of like the length except it's got a flashing line in between and that is for a continuous measurement. Uh, if you were going to slide this down a wall and you had a bowed wall on the other side, it would show the min and max um, measurements. And that's also good if you want to measure to a corner and you can't quite get it aimed on the corner you can move it back and forth and the uh, maximum length would be the farthest point you know into that corner so that uh, that works pretty nice. You'll notice it has plus, minus, and equal keys on it. That is uh, actually pretty neat if you just wanted to uh, do some uh, lineal stuff um, you uh, you would take a measurement. Let's, uh, let's get back to the basic length mode. We would take a measurement uh, 9 foot 11 and if we wanted to add another measurement to it we would hit the plus key and measure it again and then hit equals and that tells us our total length. It also works in uh, reverse. Matter of fact uh, I have a ceiling fan hanging from my vaulted ceiling in the living room and it's got a 48 inch uh, drop rod on it and I was messing around with that and with uh, by doing that I could shoot up at the ceiling and then hit the minus key and uh, and hit the bottom of the uh, ceiling fan where the uh, light would normally mount. We don't have a light on ours but um, and subtract that and hit equals and it basically tells me you know that's a um, you know four foot I think it come up about four foot eight inches which is the drop rod and the uh, the fan it, uh, itself. So that is uh, pretty neat that it'll do uh, um, addition and subtraction for you. This button down here is uh, where it's taking the measurement from. Right now you'll notice up here this little, uh, little uh, indicator that shows a miniature version of the Bosch is showing it towards the back. So from right here at the, you know, the bottom of this is where it's taken the measurement from. If we would press that again, it uh, it shows 
it's uh, got a little tab sticking out the bottom and I'll show you that um, in a little bit. Um, that tab is designed to stick out the back of the uh, Bosch unit uh, so you can get the tail of it into a corner. Otherwise, you know, you couldn't get a square um, square unit into that uh, into that corner. So that just shows you that you have that thing out and you're using that uh, function. This would be from the front, you know, if you had the front of this against something. And the final one shows in the center. This thing has a quarter twenty tripod mount on the back. You can screw this onto any any tripod if you're uh, doing close measurements. Uh, you know, this thing will measure up to uh, 328 feet. So, um, you know, it's kind of hard to hold if you're pointing 300 feet uh, somewhere. It would be uh, uh, pretty tough to uh, be steady enough to get that laser to hold still. So you can drop it on a tripod and uh, and use it that way. This is the mode I use it in most of the time. The angle key over here, now it can be used in, in uh, this mode here where the uh, unit would lay on its back and you'd measure angle that direction. If you press it again, it will uh, go to a mode where it's using this side for angle and the thing will uh, automatically switch between the two um, when you're flipping it back and forth. It's uh, pretty smart to uh, to work that way. Uh, this function here is uh, basically a memory of what you've done. We've got a lot of nine foot elevens in there because we're doing it from the bench and a lot of them are the same. So it'll go through and it'll remember and it'll tell you what it is. Like there we did a uh, double indirect uh, measurement. Same there. That would be uh, an indirect uh, length and I'll, uh, I'll talk more about that in a second. So you can scroll through and see all your previous, uh, previous measurements. The function key down here takes it into advanced mode which uh, this is continuous measurement. This is indirect height and this is indirect distance or length. What indirect is for is uh, if you uh, uh, have something in the way. Um, you're trying to take a measurement from say a driveway to um, the side of a house to know what that horizontal distance is and something's in the way. A car, a garage, a hedge, you know, whatever it is. You can actually measure the distance of something without doing a straight uh, straight shot to it. Uh, you need to be basically 90 degrees off the um, the base of what you're measuring uh, height for unless you use this mode which is double indirect and you could set it on a tripod and point down say at the uh, foundation of a house and then point up at the peak and end up getting the uh, the vertical height of that. Now direct measurement where you shoot uh, the laser uh, directly at something is going to be more accurate than these indirect, but surprisingly this is uh, is pretty close. The button up here is uh, Bluetooth. You'll notice we got a little Bluetooth symbol up there that will uh, connect to your iPad, uh, iPhone, or Android device and allow you additional uh, functionality. Uh, from there. So that's that's the basic uh, buttons on the uh, GLM100C. And here's how it'd work in practical applications. Turn it on. If we wanted to do something as simple as a uh, linear measurement, you know, the distance from this corner to the outside wall, we just uh, hold the thing up here, press it once to activate the laser, and again and it tells us that the distance between this corner and that uh, wall over there is 11 feet 8 uh, and an eighth inches. Another function that uh, would be quite nice if you did a lot of uh, area measuring 
is uh, a fixed height where instead of going and measuring height width, height width, height width around all the walls, you just do the height once, which in this case is nine foot five and a sixteenth. By the way, this is accurate to a sixteenth. And we wanted to know uh, the square footage of this wall, so we're going to uh, press this button. We now have 65 square feet total and we wanted to do this wall. Now we're 103 square feet total. And 209 square feet total. And we'll go down here and hit this last 37 foot wall. 542.808 square feet. So that quick, I mean, within 60 seconds, I could have went around. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight walls in here, uh, different shape, kind of an L-shaped shop. I could have measured the area of uh, all of those that quick. As I'd mentioned when we were going through the uh, button functions, I'd mentioned that it would do indirect measurements. That would be where something's in the way or, you know, you, you couldn't get a clear shot uh, horizontally or vertically. Uh, this will uh, work based off angle and distance and uh, actually calculate the dimension for you. It's been pretty accurate what I've tested. I actually went outside, measured the chimney um, up the side of my house, just propped this on something in the back, pointed the laser at the bottom, pointed the laser at the top, and it uh, came back eight foot one and something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I know when that chimney was built, we used eight foot sheeting and there's trim. And so from 75 feet back pointing at that chimney, I was pretty impressed. But as an example, to show you how this works, um, these cabinets over here I happen to know are uh, 35 and a half inches tall. So we can turn on our laser here. Hopefully you can uh, see that in the, uh, in the uh, video. And I'm going to point it towards, get my finger on the button here. And this would be more accurate with a tripod, of course, because, um, you know, you, you can, it's uh, pretty easy to be shaky. And I go up here and click at the top. Two foot, eleven and nine sixteenths. I don't know if you can see that or not. So thirty-five and nine sixteenths. Uh, that's pretty, pretty amazing if you think about just me holding that thing. And you know, I can go over there with a uh, with a tape measure and measure those cabinets, and I know that the carcass facing on the front is uh, 35 and a half inch. So that's within a sixteenth me standing here going like that. Obviously I'm going to use a tape measure if I'm doing something in the in the shop, but if I need to go outside and I don't want to get off the ground or if something's in my way or dimensions really don't matter, this indirect measurement would, uh, would be great. Um, I have no issues with it all. Everything I tested, it was just right on the money. The direct measurements, which would be uh, just uh, the uh, normal line, we'll get back to that, are always going to be more accurate, of course. So if I lay it here, press that button, 11 foot 5 and 7 sixteenths, I'm willing to bet that that thing's uh, right on the money. Now another thing that's quite interesting about this is the uh, Bluetooth functionality. You can download an application for uh, free off, uh, off the uh, Bosch website. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and uh, go to sketches. We're going to add a sketch. It says take photo with the camera. So I'm going to hold this like so. And I'm going to take a picture. And I'm going to show you guys how this works. 
Okay, so now I have my picture on the uh, on my Android device, and I can go in here and select the uh, tool here, and I'm going to drag a a arrow to the bottom of this. Now it doesn't have to be accurate. This is just for when you uh, when you go back and um, and take a look at the picture, you can see what the dimension was. Now we're going to go to, we're going to connect to the uh, device and I need to go over here to the Bosch and turn on the, uh, turn on the uh, Bluetooth, which I have done. I probably need, okay, we're connected, so it automatically did it. Now as I scroll through the functions, you will see it change on the phone. I'm doing that with with the uh, uh, with the uh, actual Bosch device, and we're going to change through. There's that double indirect uh, measurement that we talked about. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to take a uh, laser, and I'm going to point it at the bottom of those cabinets. First measurement. Second measurement, 35.53. As I already told you, those uh, cabinets are uh, 35 and a half inches tall. You know that's uh, that's pretty darn close. Okay, about the only thing we haven't covered is that flip out tab that I'd mentioned earlier. You'll notice we've got a little black tab here that flips out. This just allows us to measure from inside a corner or someplace that's tight. You can't always get the back of this device in tight, so you've got a flip out tab and you just change your setting on the front. Um, you know, we can change between uh, front measurement, tripod measurement, back measurement, or that flip out tab. So that's easy enough to do and uh, works, uh, works quite well. Out of the box we get the unit, we get the wall charger, USB cable, which will also charge the unit, but more importantly, it's designed to connect the unit to your PC and transfer uh, dimensions and measurements from the Bosch unit directly onto your PC with this software they have available. Comes with a carrying case, Velcro front uh, flap, Velcro thing on the back to uh, connect to your belt or something else, and uh, the manual, which out of the box is 350 plus pages. I was a little intimidated when I first saw it, but then I uh, got looking and there's only 20 pages of English in there. I mean, the, the rest of it is other languages. So I printed out the 20 pages and put the manual aside and, and uh, this made it a lot easier to follow. My only complaint with the documentation was Bosch has three different software items available for this unit. One is the USB transfer to your PC that uh, we talked about earlier. The other one is called Bosch Toolbox and anybody with a Android or uh, Apple product can download that for their device and it's free as all the other uh, software packages are. You download it, it's got uh, uh, calculators in there that will do conversions from, you know, from one unit to another. It's really nice. Allows you to take that picture we did earlier, draw a dimension line, and manually type in the dimension. So if you want to document something on the side of your house, go take a picture of it, dimension it out, go back in, you've got that for reference. It works pretty nice. The program you need to connect this uh, Bluetooth to your phone is a GLM uh, document and measure app. And I had a hard time figuring that out, but once you download that, which in my case I downloaded it from the uh, uh, Google Play and from uh, Apple, it'd be the Apple Store. Once I downloaded that, it was fine, but I had a hard time figuring out which one I needed. I downloaded it, looked for the functionality for Bluetooth and get it to sync. I couldn't find it finally figured out I had the uh, wrong application. So that was, uh, was kind of tough and uh, once I got past that, things uh, were smooth sailing. 
There is an option for the uh, GLM, and it's a 24 foot or 24 inch level. Um, works pretty nice. Well, well built glass files. Uh, I checked it uh, with uh, some of my other devices, and and uh, the glass files are accurate. But you can take your GLM device and snap it in there. It's got a lock that locks it in place. And when you turn it on, it's now right into angle mode. So we can, we can set, you know, angle on something. Or, uh, you know, there's plum. You can hear it, hear it beeping at uh, 90 degrees. Same thing here. You know, we, can, we get a beep when, uh, when it's uh, level. So that, that works really nice. I was disappointed in the fact that the end of this level is uh, solid and you lose the laser function. I thought it would be kind of nice if I could take advantage of this extra length and use it to point the laser at something on the wall. You know, if it was a one inch, uh, the laser was an inch offset off the edge, I would know that Okay, I could put something here and go over and make a mark on the wall. I thought that'd be kind of nice. It still does that with the unit itself, but to have the additional length would have been kind of nice. The other function that you lose is uh, Bluetooth. It no longer talks to your phone. And I work, uh, work alone quite a bit on some of my projects. And, you know, I've been out and framed up a wall, tipped the thing up in place, run a couple kickers down to a stake. It'd been nice to be able to put this level on the wall, go out to where my stake is, move my kicker in and out, run a screw through it when the thing was plumb. You know, normally that's kind of a two-man job or you got to go back and forth or, um, you know, if you're in a situation where you can uh, um, move the kicker at the top, then that's fine too. But it would have been nice to be able to use the level somewhere else where I'm jockeying something around and uh, have that uh, functionality. Uh, so really not, not big deals, just uh, personal preferences on my part. Otherwise, uh, this, is, uh, this is a good option for it. It uh, gives you an extremely accurate level to uh, use that uh, you know, shows, you, uh, shows you the degrees in uh, intents and, uh, and works uh, quite well. So. Rich from workshopaddict.com. Have a great day.